Um, <laughs> congratulations on the success of your new record from uh, the new group. Thanks a lot. Uh, and this, I understand, is your second visit, right? Mm -hmm. I was here about three years ago with Rainbow, Rainbow. my old pals Rainbow. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tell you, it's really good to be back here. It's really yeah. Good. Why the new group instead of you going solo? I mean, uh... Mm. Well, it's a long story. I'll just try and make it small if I can. You know, short story. <laughs> um, I thought about doing another solo album with my friends like Cozy Powell and uh, my friends from White Snake, etc., etc. Yeah. But um, after thinking about it for a while, I realized what I was missing, and that was being in a band. And uh, it's really good to be back in a band again and to start from the basic uh, sort of uh, rehearsals yeah. and build the band up from nothing, which is really good. Instead of being a replacement in a band, which I was with Rainbow yeah. and also with Michael Shanker, I took over from two other singers. Mm. Whereas this band is like mine, my baby and Miss mm. Chrome. Tell us about the days when you were with, uh, with the Rainbow. Uh, uh, I think I read the, uh, somebody uh, wrote uh, that uh, Richie Blackmore didn't like your short hair or something. He wanted to <laughs> yeah. pull a guitar. Yeah, if I, if I wanted to upset him, I had my hair cut. You know, uh -huh. if I was uh, having an argument with him the day before, uh, the next day I would have a crew cut real short, uh -huh. and he would get real, ooh, Graham's having a go at me, you know. He'd get really mad if I, my hair was cut, uh, you know, even an inch off. Yeah. He wanted me to grow my hair long, but when I joined the band, um, I almost had a crew cut, very, very short. And uh, I know he didn't like the way I was, the way I dressed and stuff, but he wanted me for uh, what was in here, not was, you know, not the yeah. clothes and the hair, you know. So they took me for my voice, not for my uh, fashion or whatever. Yeah. Island in the Sun, Alcatraz. Say this is the year for heavy metal music or mm -hmm. whatever you want to turn it. Yeah. Uh, do you feel it? Well, I think so. I, I, people always say that uh, heavy metal or rock and roll has gone away and disappeared and it's out of fashion, but I think uh, it's always been there. Yeah. But uh, I think now uh, younger kids are discovering it. You know? mm -hmm. uh, kids uh, of like 15, 16 years old. It's like uh, when I grew up, I was growing up with, with the Beatles. Yeah. I think they're now thinking that the heavy metal stuff is uh, new. Well, it is new to them. They were babies. They weren't born, you know, when uh, the first uh, sort of Deep Purple, Jimi Hendrix was around, you know? mm -hmm. And we're sort of going back to that thing. Things all go in circles and eventually gets back to that uh, original music. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's never going to go away. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be there, rock and roll. 